Whenever stock market traders talk about falling wedge patterns, I remember about a young intern I encountered in a job a few years ago. Karan moved to Mumbai rather lanky, but in a few months, he became what the elderly lady at the reception referred to as healthy, which is a euphemism for chubby. He always joked that it was because of the curse of the falling wedges. At a team building lunch, someone finally asked him to tell us about this curse of his. He said that the frozen wedges he bought often got chunked together and as a result much more wedges than intended fell into his frying pan every night while he was making dinner resulting in him eating far too many fried potato resulting in him getting chubby while we lauded him on his best excuse for eating too much junk food but ever since then i've always been reminded of him whenever i hear about the falling wedge pattern which is an altogether much more serious topic admittedly the falling wedge pattern as the name suggests is one where two trend lines can be drawn across the stock price highs and lows to form a wedge shape now there are five typical must haves for the two trend lines to be referred as a falling wedge pattern what are these let's go through them one by one number 1 anything between 10 to 50 days needs to line up correctly second the two trend lines must be moving towards a convergence third the angle of the convergence is downward because the stock high price is on a decline fourth the technical indicator of volume which gives traders an idea of market interest shows a decline and number fifth a breakout that occurs specifically above the upper trend line that is a sudden movement that is not within the recent trajectory of the trend line the falling wedge pattern is a tool used in technical analysis of a stock that is it is used to make price predictions based on historical stock price movements the appearance of a falling wedge pattern heralds a potential price reversal for stock market traders wedge patterns can be rising or falling but in today's podcast we are going to focus only on falling wedge patterns a quick fun fact wedge patterns are esteemed as having a better than usual fruition record in other words traders say that their price reversal predictions based on falling wedge patterns becomes a reality more often than not so with that let's understand what the falling wedge pattern is all about it is a bullish pattern it indicates the demand for stock prices is about to increase in turn pushing the stock price graph into an upward swing just like karan attributed his weight increase to extra wedges falling into his frying pan traders predict a price increase from falling wedge patterns on a stock graph it must be clearly differentiated from its counterpart the rising wedge pattern which is similar in appearance but the convergence is at an upward angle and similar in sense that both patterns signal a price reversal however the rising wedge pattern marked by its distinctive upward slopes is a bearish pattern that heralds a drop in price as such it is important to be able to tell them apart and not to confuse them a falling wedge pattern can be a sign of impending price reversal or can in some cases also indicate a price continuation but it is always seen as a sign of impending bullish trend if the falling wedge pattern appears after a prevailing uptrend then it is seen as a continuation pattern traders thus predict that the price increase trajectory from before the falling wedge pattern appeared will continue versus if it appeared after a downtrend wherein it is seen as a reversal pattern in this case traders expect that the price decrease trajectory from before and during the falling wedge pattern will be reversed the falling wedge pattern is also referred to as a declining wedge or descending wedge while it is also said to have a high rate of panning out as true traders also say that it is fairly challenging to identify with complete accuracy Traders looking to peg their prediction on a falling wedge pattern must also consider this. They must also recognize the fact that even if they were able to definitely spot a falling wedge pattern and a breakout occurs as expected, they still cannot assume that the impending bullish trend is guaranteed. Other technical indicators must also confirm the trader's prediction before he puts his money where his mouth is. It is in fact a good rule of thumb to always consult a handful of technical indicators before making trading decisions. Irrespective of what the technical indicators convey, traders must also keep tabs on what headlines, if any, are being made by the company whose stocks he intends to buy. 
Because, you see, the charts might show all signs of a price reversal and an impending bullish trend. But if the company makes headlines over something that shakes the market confidence, then the opposite could occur in reality. For amateur traders, opting in for expert advice and consultation might also be a good investment to make up for what they think might lack in terms of hands-on stock market experience. They must consider their next move as they would consider any stock market move, acknowledging the potential risk. And like I always say, all stock market trading decisions must be made with complete consideration and deliberation. Listen to our podcasts and watch our videos so that your consideration and deliberation is well informed. That's all for now on this podcast. Continue your learning journey on angelbroking.com. Have fun learning and have fun investing with Angel Broking.